All right, let's get into it. Today we've got a real biological detective story for you, all about a creature that seems to have figured out how to cheat death itself. So, let's just jump right in with the big question, the one that's had scientists scratching their heads for decades. How on earth does an animal this huge, that lives this long, manage to stay almost completely cancer-free? I'll tell you right now, the answer is going to surprise you. First off, let's just try to wrap our heads around the scale we're talking about. The bowhead whale, it can live for over 200 years. That makes it the longest living mammal on the entire planet. Think about that. That's two centuries of its cells dividing over and over, with every division being another chance for something to go wrong. And it's not just how long they live, it's how big they are. A bowhead can weigh more than 80,000 kilograms. I mean, that's just an astronomical number of cells, trillions and trillions more than you or I have. And you gotta think, every single one of those cells is like a tiny lottery ticket for a cancerous mutation. And yet, they almost never win that terrible lottery. And that brings us to a massive scientific puzzle. Yeah, this whole situation, this massive contradiction actually has a name. It's called Pito's Paradox. And believe me, it is one of the all-time great head-scratchers in biology. So what is Pito's Paradox? Well, it's this really simple but totally baffling observation. For some reason, cancer rates don't seem to go up as an animal gets bigger or lives longer. I mean, if you just look at the raw probability, a whale should be a walking, swimming tumor factory. But it's not. Not even close. And this really breaks it down perfectly. What we'd expect is pretty simple, right? More cells plus a really long life, that should equal a super high risk of cancer. But the reality, what we actually see in nature with these whales, is the total opposite. So the big flashing neon question is, why? Okay, so if you're a scientist trying to solve this mystery, where do you start? Well, you go after the most obvious suspect. The thinking was, if the whale isn't getting cancer, it must have some kind of super-powered, ironclad defense system. And this hypothesis makes a ton of sense. See, we all have these things called tumor suppressor genes. You can think of them like the brakes in your car. They stop cells from dividing like crazy and going out of control. So the perfectly logical assumption was that a whale must have like extra sets of brakes or maybe just way, way better ones than we do. And that really boiled the research down to one key question. Is the whale's secret just that it's an absolute master of quality control at the cellular level? You know, is it just ruthlessly efficient at spotting any cell that looks even a little bit dodgy and just eliminating it before it becomes a problem? Okay, but this is where our detective story takes a hard left turn, a totally unexpected twist. Because when scientists actually put this very logical, very sensible theory to the test, the results were, frankly, stunning. So the experiment itself was pretty straightforward. The researchers took living cells straight from bowhead whales and from humans. Then, they basically tried to force them to become cancerous by hitting them with cancer-causing genes. And, you know, the expectation was that the whale cells would put up a massive fight. And the result? It was the exact opposite of what everyone, and I mean everyone, predicted. The whale cells, they were actually easier to turn cancerous. They needed fewer cancer-causing nudges to go rogue than human cells did. I mean, can you imagine? This was a massive, massive shock to the researchers. So, there it was. The obvious answer was just plain wrong. The whale's big secret, its secret weapon, it wasn't a better defense system. The real answer had to be something else, something completely different. So with that super defense theory totally debunked, scientists had to change their whole approach. They stopped looking for what the whale cells destroy, and they started looking at what they do differently. And that new line of questioning led them to an absolutely incredible discovery, a secret that isn't about defense at all. It's about repair, high fidelity, precision repair. And that brings us to the real hero of this story. It's a little protein called CIRBP. Now that's a mouthful. It stands for Cold Inducible RNA Binding Protein. And the crucial thing is, it's found in really, really high amounts inside the whale's cells. This protein, it turns out, is the key that unlocks the whole mystery. So how does this thing work? Okay, imagine your cell's normal DNA repair system is like a decent local mechanic. It gets the job done. But CIRB? CIRB is like the chief engineer of a Formula One pit crew. When something really bad happens to the DNA, like a major double-strand break, CIRB doesn't just show up, it swoops in, supercharges the entire repair crew, and makes sure that DNA is put back together perfectly. 
We're talking incredibly high fidelity. It's not about scrapping the damaged car, it's about restoring it to pristine, race-ready condition. And the evidence for how powerful this protein is, it's just wild. When scientists took the whale's version of CIRBP and put it into human cells, it kicked our own DNA repair systems into high gear and dropped the mutation rates. But get this, when they put it in fruit flies, it actually made them live longer and made them more resistant to radiation damage. I mean, come on, this thing is the real deal. So, okay, what's the big takeaway here? What does all this mean? Well, it's about way more than just solving a cool biological puzzle. The discovery of how CIRB works reveals a totally different strategy for living a long life. And it's a strategy that could have, I mean, really have profound implications for human health and how we think about aging. Here's the fundamental difference in a nutshell. The typical strategy, the one that most mammals, including us, use, is to just eliminate damaged cells. If a cell gets too broken, the body's like, all right, you're done, and tells it to self-destruct. The whale strategy, totally different. It focuses on repairing those cells meticulously to preserve the original genetic blueprint. It's basically a repair-don't-replace philosophy. And this quote from the actual research paper just nails it. The bowhead whale strategy does not eliminate damaged cells, but faithfully repairs them. That right there, that's how it preserves the integrity of its entire genome for centuries. And there you have it. That's the solution to the mystery. This incredible high-fidelity repair system is the one-two punch. It's what explains both the whale's crazy long life and its amazing resistance to cancer. It's the answer to Pato's paradox. And that leaves us with a really fascinating final thought, something that could completely shift the future of medicine. You know, for decades, our whole approach to fighting aging and cancer has been about trying to prevent damage to our cells. But what if the whale is showing us a different path? What if the real secret to a longer, healthier life isn't just about preventing the damage in the first place, but in becoming masters of the repair?